only seen that's made you think twice? What have I seen that's make me makes me think twice? I I, I have a I have a real problem understanding how J students can go to school and learn objectivity and then get out there and let editors take advantage of them. Uh, all because they've got to hold down their job. You know, there's such a thing as values. I carry an immigrant's values. You know, my, my dad gave me certain values. And I, I don't care who was telling me to do something else. I live by those values. And believe me, I've had a number of reporters tell me when I in front of them, I said, how do you write such garbage? And, and they, they tell me that, oh, their editor changed it. Oh, their editor told them to do it because they want to keep their jobs. And I think that's sinful. So would you say the press is a bunch of sellouts? I think the press, uh, from everything I've experienced, is a very confused uh, vocation today. And I, I think, I, and I hope, and I'm sure, to Hofstra, that your, your J school here is, is teaching people, okay, to keep their values. And don't let go of those values. Print objectivity. Right? When you want to do opinions, you go over to the editorial page. But, but uh, uh, the front page, is not, people don't want that. I mean, you, you see it just as I was arguing with Liz about the, about the, uh, uh, the polls. For the press to come out and give credibility to polls that they know are not scientific, they're not credible. Those two jokers, Greenberg and Carroll, that are with uh, Siena and Quinnipiac, those people, there's, there's nothing genuine about them. They are, they're obviously very liberal and very progressive. They obviously support Andrew Cuomo. And then we give them time to get on TV and explain to us that they, that uh, Carl Palladino is down in the dumps. Carl Palladino's falling apart. The people read through that. And then they get, they, they have less respect for the journalist that's, that's telling them the nonsense.